Scorpio. Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate with every Scorpio watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be split, so feel free to switch those energies and vice versa. Time is fluid, as you know. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. Okay. This is for my Scorpios in love. If you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down below. On the person's mind that you're dealing with, with the moon here, this person is completely confused and they just don't know. They have a lot of fear, stress, anxiety, or this person is just, they have a lot of deep emotions for you, but they just don't know where this is going. They have a lot of fear of the unknown. They, they just, this is someone who doesn't know where a situation is leading or they just don't know. Again, confusion, uncertainty, whatever have you, okay? But yeah. I think this person's been very overwhelmed over the Ten of Wands here, okay? This person is just getting like fed up and sick and tired of the entire situation being burdensome on them. It's like they're ready to lay it off. This person could be Ten of Wands. This person could be dealing with a lot of responsibilities also. Doesn't always just have to be uh, a burden, but um, it could also be that this person, because of the moon, right? The moon is again... A lot of negative thoughts but none of it is real it's all self-inflicted i feel that this person with the ten of wands you could also be this is self-inflicted burdens also all right you clearly have ended a situation with this person now this person is very confused again they feel there's something that they don't know or something's just going on behind the scenes that they don't know about something's hidden secrets again anxiety is what i'm getting you with a page of cups here, probably you want to apologize to this person or you want uh, to speak to this person. You want some emotional communication. Maybe with the world here, you want to start a new chapter with this person, okay? But with this person here, with the queen of cups in reverse here, this person is being emotionally unavailable. Scorpio, I feel this is you. Again, feel free to flip the sides, but I'm just going to read it however. The person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, is emotionally unavailable. This person's, again, suppressing their emotions. Again, with the moon here, this person has a lot of hidden secrets or they have a lot of hidden emotions for you is what I'm getting. You, on the other hand, you've ended things and you want to start a new cycle with them and with the page of cups, so you want to approach this person with emotional communication, apology, messages. You have a lot of love for them, okay? But I think, I think you're trying to mellow down your love. Or... This person that you're dealing with, I think there's a very big energetic difference between you guys, okay? Your approach towards this person is as the page and you're dealing with someone who's the queen of cups in reverse. I'm getting that you could be dealing with someone who's, who had a lot of unconditional love for you and this person was always there for you and they probably expected something very serious, very, very sincere, very committed, okay? Very long term and you probably were not ready and not in the position to give, them, to give that to them and that's why things ended with the, between you guys. Because the Hierophant in reverse is the connecting energy between you guys, okay? Which is like someone who's being non-committal or um, it's like you're both either being rebels or you're both wanting this, but right now there's a delay in this commitment, okay? Again, I'm getting one person who wanted, so I'm getting this person wanted something committed with you and you on the other hand, you wanted to take a very lighthearted approach and you were not ready for this. With the devil in reverse here, you probably feel your attitude is that you want to release anything negative. You want to detach from anything that, you know, it's like I'm getting, I'm almost getting like you have, um, you're addressing your demons. You know exactly what you were doing wrong, okay? And with the devil in reverse here, you want to release anything that you thought was an addiction, uh, anything that was unhealthy, or I'm getting almost like you're ready to release anything that you thought was toxic, which was coming in between you guys, okay? Whilst this person out here is waiting and they're like, and probably, I mean, they're waiting for you to communicate with this person. They don't really see you releasing the toxic behavior, but they're fed up and they're fed up and sick and fed up of waiting for you to come in. They could have literally manifested you or literally manifested a commitment from you, but they're giving up. They're turning their back towards you. However, with the likely outcome, Knight of Pentacles, I feel you're moving towards this person, okay? But taking baby steps and that's one of the reasons why they're fed up of waiting. Because this person just doesn't know. I, again, I, there could be no communication between you guys. What is the ten of wands? Why is the ten of wands here as the current situation? Eight of cups. See, 
there's someone who walked away from this relationship because the relationship was becoming more of a burden on them rather than making them happy it was emotionally draining them instead of making someone emotionally unhappy so yeah they're walking away there's someone walking away why the eight of cups why the eight of cups emperor in reverse because you could be dealing with someone who was a control freak or someone who had a very hard time releasing control scorpio you could be dealing with someone you could have walked away from this relationship again because you were just dealing with someone who was my way or the highway someone who was just having a hard time releasing control or someone who just did not have structure okay you probably wanted structure stability and you were dealing with someone who was just not ready to give you that stability okay you could be dealing with someone who's very arrogant someone who's very egoistic or someone who just did not understand what structure meant they just wanted to do it for them whatever was correct is correct okay someone who always wanted the upper hand in a situation and for you it was like no not happening i'm out either you give me what you want in the correct way either you give me the structure that i need you give me something stable or then i'm out and that's what you did you're out that one in reverse see eh? uh, why the word here try for the word See, with the world here, Scorpio, you want to rush in towards this person with the world. You want a new beginning, okay? You want to start a new chapter with this person. What is the Knight of Swords? What is the Knight of Swords? Like, you want to talk now. You're in an urgency to talk to this person. What is the Knight of Swords? There's a lot of communication on your side. What is the Knight of Swords here? for the knight of swords i think give me one card give me one card why is the knight of swords here just when i said one Clap for the knight of swords With the W, you've had like a huge realization, huge epiphany, huge realization. Now that this person shut the cycle, this person shut the door on your face, okay? You want a new beginning and you want to talk to them now, like now, now, now. You're like in an urgency, you're like rushing in, like I want to talk because you've had like an epiphany and aha moment after this person walked away. And with the Six of Swords here, you want to move into karma waters, you want a peaceful resolution and you want to move forward with clarity towards this person. Why is this person the moon here? Why is the moon here on this person's mind? Queen of Swords in the first because this person is they're they're screwed up in their head. This person's fed up. This person's fed up of you, okay? They've had it. This person probably has a lot of emotions for you with the moon here. Again, I'm getting that, okay? But with the Queen of Swords in reverse here, they refuse to show it to you. They refuse to communicate with you and they're being very cold and harsh towards you. The, you piss someone off, Scorpio, or they pissed you off. What is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Why is the Queen of Swords in reverse? Justice. Because this person wants, wanted something fair. They wanted something committed, like we said earlier. They wanted something very stable. They wanted justice. They wanted balance within the situation but there was no balance and that's why they had to walk away justice is what they're looking for and they're not settling for anything less than that keep that in mind why is the page of cups here there's a lot of communication on your side scorpio knight of swords page of cups why is the page of cups here i think you want to apologize to this person why is the page of cups here why is the page of cups here see four of cups but you're feeling rejected, you're scared that this person will reject you with the Four of Cups here. Or this person's just not giving you the attention. What is the Four of Cups? Okay, we'll take that. The Empress. You see, see, I'm getting so much realization from your side, Scorpio. You see this person as the Empress. You see them as marriage material. You see them as someone who you want long term with. You see them as beautiful, sexy, someone who is amazing in every aspect of their life. 
someone who's very independent, self-reliant, and someone who's just got their shit together, okay? You could be dealing with a mother, it doesn't have to be, but this is someone very motherly, very nurturing, okay? And you, you feel this feminine energy from them, but you're just scared that they'll uh, reject you. That's why I think, I, you know what? I feel you wanna rush in. You want this with this person because you've had this realization the universe has just like smacked you on your head and now you realize that you need to make a certain change in order for you to move towards this person but i think you have a lot of love for this person but i think your approach is the page of cups you're trying to move in slowly because you're feeling you you have fear of rejection because this person that you're dealing with is the empress here okay again could be a very big energetic difference could be an age difference why the Queen of Cups in reverse? Why the Queen of Cups in reverse? See? Eight of Wands in reverse. This person's being non communicative. I don't think this person wants to take things forward with you because, again, this person's hurt. They're the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, okay? This person's just not wanting to communicate or they're just wanting to put things at a halt or this person could have just blocked you. I'm getting blocked communication. What is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Or they just plain don't want to move things forward with you. What is the Eight of Wands in reverse? What is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Ace of Wands in reverse. Because every single time this person gave you a chance, there were too many false starts. Too many false starts is what I'm telling. And now they're shut off. They're fed up. Again, I think every single time you guys got together, right, this person probably thought that now things are going to get better, things will work out. But I think the approach was the same, your approach towards the situation was the same. And I think every time it started, right, it ended up as the Ten of Wands here. The Ace of Wands is a false start and every time it started, it was a false start. It was started quickly, ended quickly and this is what the burden is. And that's why they had to walk away. That's why they're just completely, and this time I feel like, you know what, they're shutting down, not only emotionally they're shutting down, but they're not even wanting to communicate with you. They don't even want to make things, for, move things forward with you. Okay, because with the higher printed reverse, there's someone here who's not wanting things traditionally, or there's just someone here who, who's just non-committal or commitment phobic. What is the higher printed reverse? Again, this person is fed up. Too many false starts. This person could have given you a lot of chances, but because with the Emperor in reverse here, you could be someone who was just not ready to budge, okay? Why is the Hierophant in reverse? Why is this the connecting energy? Clap for the Hierophant in reverse. Clap for the Hierophant in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Lack of clarity, lack of communication, okay? Or there is just someone here who is just withholding some information is what I'm getting. What is Ace of Swords in reverse? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Someone has abandonment issues out here. Maybe this is one of the reasons why Scorpio you're not wanting to communicate, wanting to commit to this person, commit to this person is because you have abandonment issues. Maybe there was some childhood issues that you had or whatever. Or again, take it vice versa, all right? But someone is commitment phobic and with the Ace of Swords in reverse here, I feel there's someone who's holding back the truth. I'm getting this person wants to commit to you, but again, they have abandonment issues. They could have gone through a lot in their past relationships, okay? Maybe they were vulnerable to someone. Maybe they wanted marriage. They wanted commitment with this person, but the person really, really cut them through deep, okay? Or someone just really screwed them over and now they just feel that probably if they open up to you maybe you're going to do the same thing to them that's why this person is just not ready to open up ace of swords and reverse is where the clarity is blocked okay someone's just not clearing the air or someone's keeping a lot of information from coming up to the surface because there is a lot of love here all right there is a lot of love here but again when it comes to commitment this person is just very scared why is the devil in reverse here why is High Priestess in reverse? What is the High Priestess in reverse? Seven of Swords, really. Scorpio, with the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess in reverse, I feel that um, it could also be that you're trusting your logic and not trusting your intuition. With the Seven of Swords here, you feel the need to be sneaky and deceptive when it comes to approaching this person. 
Your approach towards this person oh, is a little sneaky. It's deceptive. You want to sneak into this person's life again because you see them as the empress and you are very scared that this person will reject you after whatever mess you've created. But with a high priestess in reverse, you're definitely you're having a very hard time trusting your intuition. Again, because this person released you probably or because they let you go, right? You feel that the only way you can approach this person or the only way you can get to this person back into their life or you can get into their life is by being sneaky, okay? Is by just getting in by not a very honest approach, okay? Maybe you're going to try tricks of getting into this person's life, okay? But again, I get a very sneaky attitude towards you, okay? Again, you're not trusting your intuition, all right? If you trust your intuition, maybe you'll realize that this person really is hurt. And maybe the best approach is going to be <clears throat> taking a very honest approach towards this person. Okay, but all right. Why is the three of wands in reverse? In their attitude, they're wanting to give up. They're fed up and sick and fed up of waiting. Why is the three of wands in reverse? Why is this person fed up of waiting? Why is the three of wands in reverse? Like they could have manifested this, okay? But they just felt like it, the manifestation just didn't come into reality. Why is the three of wands in reverse? This could be a long distance relationship. Because with the King of Swords, this person is very, very clear about what they want. Why is the King of Swords? No, why is the King of Swords? What does this King of Swords want to say? What does the King of Swords want to say? What does the King of Swords want to say? Two of Wands in reverse, they made up their mind. They made up their mind. Three of Wands in reverse, King of Swords, and the Two of Wands in reverse. That's pretty clear, okay? This person's giving up on this relationship, turning their back, and they're very clear about what they want, and they told you what they want. They've already made it very clear about what they want, okay? With the two of wands in reverse here, I feel that this person is wanting to stay safe and not wanting to give this a second chance because no more false starts. They're done. Nada. Finito. Over with um, false starts, okay? This person really, really loves you, Scorpio, okay? And all they wanted was something committed or all they wanted was justice, okay? They wanted a balanced relationship. They wanted something that they deserve. And this is something that um, they couldn't get. And that's why they need to walk away. Because someone was just not ready to budge with the emperor in reverse here. Again, whoever was not budging, whoever was not commitment, or who was, whoever was a commitment phobe has abandonment issues. And they're keeping the truth to themselves, okay? They're keeping some information to themselves. If there was clarity in the situation, maybe the other person could have got more convinced that, okay, this is the situation or this is what the problem is. But because they're holding back, right? This is what's happening. All right, what is the Knight of Pentacles? I feel, Scorpio, your approach towards this situation is pay, taking baby steps towards this person. But you're being the Knight of Pentacles again. You're taking forever. And that is one of the reasons why this person is giving up because you're just... Too slow moving. Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight of the fucking deck. It does reach its goals, but you don't want to reach the goal by the time this person is like, you know what? What? It's been like 50 years. Now you're coming in with that. You want something stable. You want to offer this person something stable, right? But a little faster, you know, maybe. I mean, again, your attitude and I don't know. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is this slow moving energy here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? See, you want to work towards this person. You want to build, okay? I get it. I get it, Scorpio, a cross watcher, whoever. This person that you're dealing with, they've already given up on you. I'm sorry, but I'm going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. They've already given up on you, okay? They've been waiting for a very long time. Three of Wands is an energy of manifesting, okay? It's like you let, you, you let your intentions to the universe and you wait for it to happen. Maybe this person's manifested you for a very long time. It could be three years, whatever, right? But um, every single time that you came in, this person gave you a chance and it would reach up. There, were, there was love, there was uh, feelings, there were emotions. But every single time it came to that point of commitment, probably you backed out. Okay, and it was like a false start. And this person was like, whoa, like what the hell happened? Things were going so fast and smooth with eight of wands. What the hell happened? Now this person is just not ready to invest into you. They're not ready to communicate and they've completely pulled back their energies. What is the three of pentacles? What is the three of pentacles? The ten of cups wanted to come out. What is the three of pentacles? Can I have the three of pentacles? Can I have the three of pentacles? Six of wands. 
So now you look and now you want to transform and you want to change and you want to move towards this person Scorpio okay Knight of Pentacles, six, Three of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. This is a very very determined energy okay Scorpio. Now you want to move towards this person or this take it vice versa. This person wants to move towards you. They're very determined on wanting this success with you okay. This person wants to build with you okay. Maybe this person wants to now uh, probably get an engagement. They want to take you to this commitment that you always wanted. They want to move this. They want to progress this. Okay. They want public recognition. They want to give you that public recognition. They want to build with you. Okay. They want to collaborate. They want teamwork. They want to put in all the effort that uh, they always have to put in. They want don't want to want it to be a one-sided situation anymore. Okay. They want to reciprocate. But again, the only problem I see here, Scorpio, is with the Knight of Pentacles. If this is you, this is them. Whoever. It's the slow moving energy which is making this person give it up. So maybe a little faster. Okay, maybe not the night, maybe a little more um, faster energy. I mean, you have the realization, you have everything, okay? Then why wait? I mean, I don't think this is a short term invest invested relationship. I think this was a good relationship where this person literally gave this relationship a lot of chances, okay, to get that um relationship to move towards that get that breakthrough okay but it's the breakthrough is not happening because someone has abandonment issues that's why this person was keeping themselves away from the commitment keeping themselves away from something traditional okay only because of their past issues but again your approach Seven of Swords, maybe a little more honest approach, okay? Or maybe you're just trying to strategize how to come towards this person, okay? But you're still not trusting your intuition, Scorpio. Still not trusting your intuition. Anyway, Scorpio, regardless, right? There is someone who's coming in and this person's hell-bent on making things happen with you, okay? I don't think they're gonna let you get away. Mm -mm. Someone's not gonna let you get away, Scorpio. I like that. I like that very much. All right, so this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. If you need a personal reading, that information is going to be down below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.